hello welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we are going to learn how can we uh, develop a web service using geox ws api so let us start this first of all a web service is a type of web application that is why uh, i am going to create a dynamic web project here and provide some name let us see hello world application simple hello world application uh, that's why I'm providing name as hello world web service here and at the moment I'm not selecting any of the target runtimes uh, either of these two servers I have configured with uh, Eclipse IDE and uh, dynamic web module version 3 because uh, annotations can be applied simply click on this next and the next select this generate web.xml file and click on this finish so this is a simple uh, web application directory structure so here a web service is nothing but a POSO class that is annotated with jobs ws annotations so here they simplified the development process and you can make a POSO class with uh, the help of jobs ws annotations as a web service for that I am creating a simple class here and I am writing and placing this inside a package web service dot demo and I am giving this survey uh, uh, name of my class as hello world service and hit the finish button let me maximize this editor and web service just write simply uh, according to uh, web service annotations sorry according to web service contract there should be no argument constructor in your POSO class whether you write it here whether you write it down or not whenever you are trying to deploy this application uh, Java compiler automatically writes that for you so anyway I am writing here just to show you a simple message saying our web service object has been created when we are trying to deploy this application to an application server so just for that particular purpose I here I am writing the no argument constructor Here I am going to write a method called uh, say hello method, which will welcomes the user, which will welcomes the username you have entered, saying hello username, followed by welcome to web services. So this kind of just welcome message will be displayed based on the name you have provided. That is why I am taking the username as an argument to this method, and here I am writing the string. To return that followed by name and some welcome message web services and here we need to make sure our business method must be annotated with a web method annotation What's wrong here? Yep, the written type of the method here. String we are returning. So this is the just a uh, simple application we have developed just now, and it's time to deploy this application to a target runtime. So that is an application server here. Now I am trying to place this application or deploy this application to the to different servers like weblogic server and glassfish server uh, I will demonstrate on these two servers here select the project you would like to deploy and click on this export followed by where file because this is a web service project nothing but a web application so that is why 
a var file is appeared here automatically so browse and go to the place where you have installed your server you would like to deploy and you have to place your project or var file into the appropriate uh, folder so here i am now trying to place this inside a glassfish server version 4 that's why i am here in glassfish 4 followed by domains inside this is the domain name or domain i have configured and inside this domain you have a folder called auto deploy so this is the place where you have to put your var file on glassfish server version 3 and 4 so here i am trying to save this so click on that and make sure you should select this over eight existing file if there is any already existing application with the name you are trying to deploy it will be replaced simply and click on this finish now let's look at the console whether the, let me look whether the server is started or not no not started let me start the both the servers so here i am trying to start the glassfish server from the command prompt I have moved to the Glassfish server home directory followed by bin directory and here inside this uh, sorry inside this bin directory there is a tool called as admin tool which allows you to start and stop and create domain of your own choice so you can make use of this as admin tool to start and stop servers as of now here I am starting it start hyphen domain because the domain one is my domain name and it is the default one so you no need to provide that name domain one as an argument to as admin tool because that is the default name so as admin tool automatically aware of the domain one you no need to provide that one so see the feedback we have got is uh, domain has been started successfully now let's open the browser and run the administration console so this is the place where my glassfish server is running on my machine and the port number is the default one it is 4848 it could take some time to display the glassfish console anyway it was quick click on this applications to list out the deployed applications to this glassfish server console and here here you will see the list of applications that have been deployed to the glassfish server at the moment there is only one application that has been deployed and here obviously that is our application click on that here you will see a hyperlink with the view endpoint click on that and here this is the endpoint information that has been displayed see the application name followed by two URLs which is which were meant for different purposes which one is to just to display the visual file which means where our web service is running means our web service is nothing but in web service uh, terminology that is an endpoint so where our endpoint is resided on our machine so in our case it is localhost so here click on this visual select this visual link this is the visual file that has been generated when we deploy our application from Eclipse IDE to the Glassfish server because we have followed till now a top-down approach so internally Glassfish server is having a tool called WS Gen web service gen tool which automatically generates the visual file based on the Java classes we have deployed with our web application so as of now we have deployed only one class as part of our web application that is why here only one port type is 
specified here if you observe clearly here port type this port type is nothing but an object in object oriented programming so here that is in our case our class hello world service here an operation an operation is nothing but a method in object oriented programming terminology so but in web service terminology we call a method as a, an operation so here say hello is name of our operation that is name of our business method we have written inside our web application so let me show that once again so this is the name of the business method we have written inside our web service class let's go back so this is the just brief uh, overview anyway you already know about this visual file and this is the just visual file generated by glashfish server and now let's test our application whether it is running fine or not click on this tester hyperlink we maximize and provide some name click on this say hello see here a soap request has been sent internally this is the argument one the value has been enclosed inside a soap body as a string value here so this is the value we have provided and he see here hello followed by the name we have given and some welcome message so this is the soap response we have received from the endpoint in this case our web service let me close this and now let's try to test the same application on uh, sorry on oracle uh, weblogic server so anyway let me check it is started yes started and let me deploy this one to the weblogic server where file in the form of where file browse this is the place on my machine where weblogic server has been installed uh, inside this user projects domains and check your domain name and place this inside your auto deploy folder in available in your domain so this is the default name i have chosen when i am configuring the uh, domain using the blazik server tools so after that this is the auto deploy folder so inside your domain name you will find a folder called auto deploy so that is the place where you have to put your or place your applications whether it is a web application or uh, ejb application or uh, any java e application that could be placed inside this folder and click on this save and make sure you check this overwrite existing file and hit this finish button yep the uh, server has been started and here if you see uh, if you observe uh, hello world service object has been created this is the message we have received when we are trying to deploy our application to the uh, weblogic server so how we have got this at the time of deploying application itself or at the time because the server has been started already and it is trying to load the application or our web application we are deploying and at the time of loading itself it is trying to load our web service because it is web service and it is loading and this is the statement we have written inside our constructor of our service class let me show you that statement for test one moment please uh, for testing purpose i have written this uh, sop statement to check whether the object is uh, creating or not so that's why we have got this information at in the console so that information is enough to make sure our application has been deployed successfully to the web logic server so this is the place where a web logic server running so it usually uses the port number 7001 
so and on my local machine that's why localhost followed by the port i have provided my username and password to login to the console administration console and to check whether the applications have been deployed or not click on this deployment which will displace all the deployed applications to the domain you have configured and click on this monitoring tool or uh, sorry tab here if you observe all these are different components you can deploy to the weblogic server and in in our case this is a web service that's why we have to select this web service tab and here if you observe hello world service so hyperlink click on this hyperlink and here you have got few tabs which allows uh, which are meant for different purposes and here if you observe a tab with the name testing click on that here if you see this is the our uh, sorry our web service application expand this node here if you observe you have got two links one for checking the visual file and one for checking our application as usual click on this visual file so this is the visual file that has been generated by the weblogic server and uh, as i already said explained port type hello world service the same routine things whether the visual file generated by glassfish server or generated by uh, any application server there won't be any changes the same old tags the same tags will be written inside a visual file whether it is uh, generated by any application server so nothing to worry here uh, let us test the web service component so to test that click on this test client hyperlink will be taken to this page because this is an application and it will be deployed automatically when you click on this test client and provide some name here java web services or web service and click on this say hello so see here uh, the same so request has been sent internally when we click on that uh, say hello button and the same message is in enclosed in between in the soap body obviously and the response also we have got in soap format so this is the simple output followed by same output we have got uh, on both servers let us reinvoke string argument 01 followed by java click on say yep here you can see hello java welcome to java jax web services so this is the uh, process we need to follow to test the applications we have developed i mean the web service applications and to see the visual files that has been generated so this is the top down approach we have followed and one more approach is there that is a bottom approach which is the most recommended approach that is the process of generating a visual file sorry the process of generating java classes from the visual file so we will see that later on thank you thank you for watching